Hello, students. Hi. Good morning. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. Okay. So, so you people like watching TVs and playing with mobiles and all, right? So, when you will be watching TV or when you will be playing with the mobiles, what your parents will do, especially mom, what she will do, she will say, "Off the TV." Right? She will say that off the TV, or I'll see what I will do. She says, right? Off the TV, read the books, go and study, do your homework. So all these things uh, they will say, you no. Know? So you will, they will not allow you to watch the TV, right? So every parents in home they are like that itself. Say so they don't like the children wasting their time. Okay. So here is a poem where the boy says. Okay, here in your English textbook there is a poem that is turn off the TV. Okay, so here a boy is there just like you, a small boy is there. Okay, just like you people. So what he is saying, what he is saying is my mother and father always say, okay, to off the TV, to turn off the TV, to study, to do the homework. Okay, so let us see what. What his parents says? Okay, how he says? See what is the situation? What is the mindset of the child? So how he says? What he says? Let us see in this poem. So before that, let us read this poem. Okay? Yes. Chapter number forty. Turn off the TV. I will enjoy the poem. My father gets quite mad at me. My mother gets upset. When they catch me watching a new television set, my father yells, "Turn that thing off!" Mom says, "It's time to study. I'd rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy." I sneak down after homework and turn the set on low. But when she sees me watching it, my mother yells out, "No!" Dad says, "If you don't turn it off, I'll hang it from a tree." I rather doubt he'll do it, cause he watches more than me. He watches sports all weekend and weekday evenings too. While munching chips and pretzels, the room looks like a zoo. So if he ever got the nerve to hang it from a tree, he'd spend a lot of time up there watching it with me, Bruce Lansky. So this is the poem. So this poem is written by Bruce Lansky. Turn off the TV. My father gets quite mad at me. My mother gets upset when they catch me watching our new television set. My father else turn that thing off. My mom says it's time to study. I would rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. I sneak down after homework and turn the set on low. But when she sees me watching it, my mother else out. No, Dad says, I, if you don't turn it off, I will hang it from a tree. I rather doubt he will do it because he watches more than me. He watches sports all weekend and weekday evenings too, while munching chips and pretzels. The room looks like a zoo. If he so, if he ever got the nerve to hang it from a tree, he would spend a lot of time up there watching it with me. So Bruce Lanky, Lang, Lansky has written this poem. So the poet in this poem he is saying, okay, the boy. Who is saying this poem? This poem is saying by a boy. Okay, a boy. He is saying what his parents says to him when he sits and watches the tree. Okay, how they warn him. Okay, how his mother and how what his father says about TV when he will be watching the TV. Okay, so let us move and see line by line. Basically, I will explain you and just understand. Enjoy it. Okay, so. Because uh, you people also is the same situation you people have so undergone, right? Even your parents says not to watch the TV, right? And also nowadays mobile, right? You people more than TV, you watch mobile, and your parents they say don't watch that mobile, or else I will throw it away, <laughs> right? In the same manner, your boy is there just like you, so he is saying that their parents, his parents, are. Not allowing him to watch the TV and what it all they will say and what he is thinking. Let us say in this poem. Okay, let us move on and enjoy this poem. Turn off the TV. My father 
gets quite mad at me. My mother gets upset. When they catch me watching our new television set. So, what is the boy saying? My father gets quite mad at me. Quite mad means he gets angry and shouts at me. Okay, my father gets quite mad at me means he shouts and get angry at me. My mother gets upset. My even my mother get upset. Okay, she feel bad. Okay, she feel bad and she also gets angry on me. Why they are getting angry? Because when they catch me watching. Okay, when they see me. Okay, when both of them see me watching our new television set. So, we come to know here that in this boy's home, they have bought a new television set. So, usually what children, when something new thing bring, uh, they bring to your house. Okay, if they bring a new thing to your house, so you will be very curious with that thing and you will spend most of the time with that thing itself. Right, it is a common thing. Right. So here, the boys in their, in their house, they have bought a new television set. And this boy, as he is very small, he is very much eager to see that watch the TV television set. Okay, what is coming? So you people like cartoons most, right? So this boy, he also want to watch. So he's sitting and watching on his new television set. At that time, his parents, both mother and father, they come and scold him and gets angry on him not to watch the TV. My father yells, turn that thing off. So my father else, else means what he screams in a loud voice he says. What he says, he says to stop watch the TV. He says to not to watch the TV, turn off that thing. Thing means what? TV, television. So my father, he is screaming, he is shouting at me to turn off. Okay, to turn off that television. Turn off the TV and at me, my mother gets up. When they catch me watching our new television set, my father yells, turn that thing off. Mom says, it's time to study. So, when father screams, when he shouts at the boy to turn off the TV, what mother says? Mother says, sit and study. It's the time to study. Don't waste your time. Sit and study, mother says. Okay, what mother says? Mother says that sit and study. It's a time to study and you are watching TV. She says she comes and get angry. I'd rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. So I'm what the boy is saying? I would rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. So I like to, okay, I like to watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. Best buddy means best friend. Okay, I like to watch my favorite TV show. So everyone have their favorite TV shows, no? So you people also have your favorite TV show, even your mother and parents, everyone, each and everyone have their own favorite TV shows, right? They will watch, sit and watch very curiously, very interestingly. So this boy also have a very favorite TV show. He have a favorite TV show and he want to watch it. With whom he want to sit and watch? He want to watch it with his best friends. I sneak down after homework and turn the set on low. So, I sneak down after homework and turn the set on low. So, I sneak down means I move very quietly. So, when parents, when my mama and dad, they scold me, they get angry on me and they ask me to turn off this uh, set. So, what the boy is doing, he sneak, means he moves slowly, quietly after homework. He turns off, he goes and do the homework. And after that, what he will do, he slowly comes, okay, where the TV is there, he slowly comes after finishing the homework and turn on the TV in a low voice. Okay, he keeps the volume low. Okay, he keeps the volume low, sound low, TV volume low and he sits quietly and starts to watch. But when she sees me watching it, 
my mother yells out no so but but after finishing homework also when i come and sit quietly and watch the tv no what my mother will do but my mother she sees me watching it again okay and what my mother will do my mother she yells out yells out means what she shouts at me okay she shouts at me and she says no what no she saying she saying no you should not watch i said you not to watch again you have come and sitting and watching mother says dad says if you don't turn it off i'll hang it from a tree so what father says what oh, dad says what father says he says that if you don't turn off the tv if you are not going to off the tv turn off the tv what i will do i will hang it from a tree i am going to hang it okay from a tree i will hang it i will hang the tv to the tree he says father says i rather doubt he'll do it because he watches more than so the boy when father says like that that he is going to hang it from a tree so the boy he have a doubt that his father is going to hang it or not he have a doubt because why more than everyone in the home father is the one who watches the tv more okay because he is the one father is the one who watches tv more that is why the boy he is saying that i have a doubt what doubt he have he have a doubt that father is going to hang it okay father is going to hang that television from a tree or not because he watches it more okay he watches tv more than anyone else he watches sports all weekend and weekday evenings too so what father do every weekend so weekend means what which days weekend means weekend means saturday and sunday okay for weekends we call it as saturday and sunday for saturday and sunday we call it as weekends so our father what he will do on every weekends okay he watches sports okay he watches sports and weekday evenings too and even in weekdays not only two days saturday and sunday but even in the weekday so what is weekday from monday to friday for monday from monday to friday we call all these days as weekdays okay even weekdays evening time okay not day time evening time he will sit and watch the tv okay so why how he will sit when he will be watching when father he will be sitting and watching the tv what he will do he will be munching chips and pretzels okay he will be eating chips and pretzels so pretzels it is a crisp biscuit baked in the form of a knot or stick and flavored with salt okay it is a kind of biscuit which is give which gives the taste of salt okay this pretzels so he eats father while watching the tv okay while watching the tv so while watching the tv what he will do he will eat chips munch means eating okay munch means eating you will eat the chips no yes so eat the chips and pretzels so how the room looks the tv room so where you will keep the tv usually you will keep the tv in the drawing room that is the living room right all what you say so there the tv that room it looks like a zoo okay how it looks it looks like a zoo for this boy it is looking like a zoo because everything is spread out okay and father he watches the tv in the weekends that to sports right usually fathers they will do that only you know they will usually watch the sports or any news channels they will watch the news channels right so weekends he will watch the sports and even he will not in the leave in the weekdays okay in the week weekdays in the evening he will sit and watch the tv at that time when he will be watching the tv he will be eating one or the other thing like chips and pretzels and the room it looks like a zoo 
Okay, how it looks? It looks like a zoo. So if he ever got the nerve to hang it from a tree, he'd spend a lot of time up there watching it with me. So what he will do? So if ever, as father said, okay, what he had said, he has said he had warned the son that if you don't stop watching TV, I will hang it on from a tree. The father had said no. So if ever he got the nerve, nerve means what? The courage, a bundle of fibers in the body that transmits impulse means courage. Here, nerve means courage. If he ever got the nerve, nerve means what? Courage to hang it from a tree. Okay, if he ever get the courage and hang the TV from the tree, he would spend a lot of time up there. So what my father will do? My father, he will go on the tree and sit on the tree and he will spend most of his time on the tree watching with me, watching the TV with me, along with me, he will watch TV. Okay, sitting on a tree. If, if, suppose, if he hangs the TV from the tree, at that time what father will do? He himself will climb the tree and uh, along with me, he will sit and watch TV. Okay, students, so this is the poem. It is a beautiful poem. It is really related with you people, no? So even uh, you people have experience. What this boy has experienced, the same things you people have experienced in different manner, right? So even your parents, they will also do the same thing as they, as this boy's parents. They will also say the same thing as this boy's parents are saying, right, children? Okay, children, so this is the beautiful poem okay uh, it is very much related with you people with you people life okay so by this ending by ending this poem i'm going to end the class so enjoy the day have a nice day take care and enjoy yourself don't watch much tv or uh, mobile phones because it is very harmful for health as well as especially for your eyes right don't use mobiles so instead of that play go out and play outside okay any outdoor games or indoor games like chess and all and and just give the physical exercise do the physical exercises and keep your body fit because it is very necessary nowadays right so we have to boost our immune power because we are dealing with the very dangerous uh, disease called corona so let us not waste our time and uh, by watching tv and mobiles because it is it is uh, it is very effect yes so it affects us it affects our eyes and also it affects our health also okay so instead of that let us go and play with our friends if not with friends in home itself you can play with your brothers or sisters or else you insist your parents to come and play with you people okay students so by this a small information i'm going to end the lesson in the class okay students then bye take care